I've been heating up my skillet. I'm going to add a pound of ground beef and a package of frozen mushrooms. See that? Frozen mushrooms. And a teaspoon of salt. This is coarse salt. That way you can see it. And I'm going to cook this up. Ground beef is cooked. The mushrooms have let out a lot of their juice, a lot of the water in the mushrooms. So I'm going to continue to cook this till a lot of the water is gone. Most of the water is gone. I'm going to add cream cheese. It's half a stick. Four ounces of cream cheese and let this melt in. Next I'm going to add oh about a half a cup of beef broth. I have a cup here. I'm going to add about half a cup. I'm going to add garlic powder, half a teaspoon. I'm going to add a little bit of oregano. Just a little, maybe a fourth a teaspoon. And I'm going to add half a cup of cream. And let this cook and thicken up. It's pretty well thickened up. It's thick enough. I'm going to turn the heat off. And we'll, I would have added some pepper. I would love to add some pepper, but my father, who's going to have some of this, cannot stand pepper anymore. Nothing spicy at all, even pepper. So anyway, this goes into my baking dish. I have my mixture in my 8 inch by 8 inch baking dish. And I'm going to add green beans. I'm going to add two cans of green beans put on top and my green beans I bought were the no salt added so I'm going to add some salt on top I buy the I like to buy the no salt added because I have aquariums you know fish in aquariums and they love green beans on occasion so I buy the no salt added to um, feed them for a change in their diet so I've added some salt on top I'm going to add two cups of cheese now you don't have to use two cups of cheese though you can use less so here I have some cheddar you can use any cheeses that you like. So that's about a cup of cheddar. And I have some mozzarella. That I will spread out. And I have some Colby Jack as well. I will get all that cheese on there. I know there's some left on my paper here. And I'm going to put this in my 350 degree oven that's preheated. Here it is out of the oven. It baked for 30 minutes. Let's have some. All the uh, macros or the uh, carbs will be in the description so you can see how many carbs this is let's have a taste Very, very good. 
very nice very nice I really hope you try this and thank you so much for watching